love it. It's so extra. It's so like me. This shade's a little bit dark, but I don't even care. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra and today we're going to be doing another little get ready with me video where I am attempting and succeeding <laughs> at glitter eyeliner. Um, silver, I thought it was very silvery at first but now that I look at it like it has a lot of gold flecks in it as well. So this could go with a gold look, a silver look, cool tone, warm tone, whatever look you want to achieve. Um, but I've gone for a mix of cool and warm tones here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And if you want to see how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. Now I'm just patting matte Malloy all over the entire lid as our base uh, because I've already primed with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Next, with a matte 224 brush, I'm going to take the shade Painkiller in the crease and the upper crease. And this is the Power of Makeup palette by Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced. Keeping most of the pigment in this area here, but then flicking the excess out. Now I'm going to take the It's Everything eyeshadow palette by MAC and it's from the Mariah Carey collection. I love the packaging. It's so extra. I'm obsessed. I'm going to take the shade right here called Twinks on a small fluffy brush by MAC. And I'll be posting a review on the MAC and Mariah Carey collection. Uh, very soon and I'm trying to take this shade a little bit above my crease because I have hooded eyes uh, and I want to leave plenty of space for the eyeliner. Now I'm just going in with the MAC 224 brush to blend that. So since we're doing an intense liner look with the silver glitter, uh, I've placed tape here and you kind of go along with the bottom lash line as as if, th if this bottom lash line kept going, you kind of place the tape and anytime you apply eyeliner, um, you can always do your, your wing different shapes depending on what look you're going for but primarily you stick with the bottom lash line if the line were to extend continuously that's where your liner would go so that's what I've done here so now I'm gonna take Too Faced glitter glue I'm gonna use a liner brush by Too Faced I feel like this has accidentally turned into a Too Faced tutorial. And I'm just applying that where I want the glitter to go. By the way, this is Too Faced Glamour Dust in the shade Glitter, Glitterly. This glitter is so gorgeous, oh my gosh. And once you get closer to the inner corner, you're gonna go a lot lighter on um, application because I really don't want this to get in my um, tear ducts. That would suck. This brush is actually a concealer brush by e.l.f., but it's super tiny, so I figured this would be perfect. 
I'd be lying if I said I wasn't obsessed with this look right now. All right, so now it's time to remove the tape and any fallout. I'm gonna go and add a little bit of dimension around the glitter eyeliner with the It's Everything eyeshadow palette in the shade I'd give my all. All right, so uh, you can either use a big fluffy brush with powder on it to remove the fallout from the glitter, or you can do what I did and use a makeup wipe. I've already put on primer, and I'm currently using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. Right now I'm using the Flat Top Kabuki brush from the Mariah Carey and MAC collection to apply MAC Skin Finish Powder in Light Plus. Next I'm going to take the MAC Zach Posen Large Angle Contour Brush and Hoola by Benefit to contour. And now I am applying Sweet Sweet Fantasy Blush to the cheeks. I'm taking that shade Twinks on a pencil brush and I am just putting that on the lash line and buffing that out. Next comes up my new obsession which is this highlighter. Oh my gosh. Is that not gorgeous? This is MAC highlighter and blush. It's the Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. Uh, and the highlighter is 2-2 Extra Dimension Skin Finish Powder. Um, I'm hoping that those, they sell that separately because I, I'm seriously obsessed and I'm using it with this Mariah Carey uh, eyeshadow brush here uh, because I don't wanna mess up the gorgeous design. So I'm just like going around, going around it. But guys, this is my new favorite highlight. I did not think I would love any highlighter more than I love Champagne Pop. But oh, I am like, Oh, I'm obsessed. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this or not, but I'm gonna go in very lightly with uh, My Mimi Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I think this will be great for medium to dark skin tones. I'm gonna use it very lightly as a bronzer topper uh, using a Duo Fiber uh, Luxie 524T brush. Okay, and next I am going to be putting on mascara, and today I'm using Smashbox X-Rated. Now I'm applying the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Candy all over the lips. And I'm going to use a little bit of lip liner around the edges to darken that up a bit and add more dimension. And I'm using the Mariah Carey lip pencil, of course, in the shade So Dramatic. I know, right? The faces I'm making are just gorge. 
And now I'm going to apply Butterfly Bling, which is, you guessed it, a Mariah Carey gloss, which is so extra. And I'm obsessed with it. I was gonna try to do this look without false lashes, but since I got Mariah Carey false lashes, I think it's a necessity. <laughs> now, of course, this look does not require lashes, but if you want to pop them on, you can do so just like I did. Well guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the I, which will be right up there, uh, to see any previous videos that I've linked up there for you or playlists. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms, which I will have linked down below. Thanks guys, see you next time. Break my heart. Give me your love. 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 Give me your love.